I'm out with my dog today, going to try a new spot for mushrooms, morels. It's April 30th. Nice warm day out. Out here walking the canal. It's over in Whiteside County. It's like a beaver's been busy. I think it's almost going to take down that big tree. Pretty good sized tree. I think it's going to try to drop. Look at the teeth marks on that. That's nuts. There's my dog taking off. Yep, no mushrooms yet. Beautiful day. Still haven't seen any elm trees. Not a one. Probably were here at one time and all died out. Plus, I'm not seeing anybody hunting mushrooms but myself. It's kind of a bad sign. Gonna go a little further. Maybe try somewhere else. It's been hard trying to find mushrooms the last few years for me. Actually gonna try to buy some today on Facebook. They're like fifty dollars a pound. See how that goes. There's something there. It looks like a toadstool. Just want to say when you're out mushroom hunting, make sure you're 100% sure before you eat anything. That goes for all things because you never know. You know, it only takes one time. So it's better be safe than sorry. But I looked over and here's a little gardener snake. Them are mainly harmless, don't know a whole lot about snakes. Got to be careful with them things, too. I don't see a lot of elm trees here. Usually that's where you find a lot of your morels. This hasn't been looking too good. Where are you at, Morales? Flowers are out. I think these are called flocks. Dog's having some fun, getting some exercise, that's for sure. Well, I haven't found any mushrooms. Got some exercise. But one thing I find kind of interesting here with this canal, I don't see, like, almost no trash floating around. Usually you see a lot of plastic bottles up against the banks of the rivers and styrofoam, all kinds of good stuff. But this is actually pretty clean, which is amazing. I don't think I've seen one plastic bottle in the, in the water since I've been out here. It's nice to walk down and not see all the trash floating around. A couple small ones there.
about time to get out of here. Got to see a little bit of nature. No morels, not good. Could be another bad year. But I'll take that back. There's a plastic bottle and a styrofoam cup, looks like. Looks like there's something else up here floating out. But it's close to the road, so... Probably threw it out over the road. Who knows? You can't get away from this stuff, but... Majority of the canal here is pretty clean. There it is. Mission accomplished. Got a piece of... Couple pieces of trash out of here. It's a beautiful day out, April 30th today. Lilacs are blooming. Wish you could smell these, these smell so great. But I finally got me some mushrooms. Two pounds. actually bought these off of Facebook. Some of these are pretty nice. These are early ones. They're like a little darker. But, uh, yeah, a lot of the places that I used to find a lot of men are gone. They're just not producing anything anymore. Seems like a lot of the elm trees are de dead or have died out. But, I'm just thankful I was able to buy them close to me. Gas is $4 a gallon. I went out along the canal today for a couple hours, didn't find anything. But still got hope, still maybe find a few, but... Good old morel mushrooms. This is May 1st. I'm out here in a state park hunting. For the big old morels or the elusive morels they allow archery hunting here got to stand in front of me you can only come in here after 1 1 p.m got my mushroom dog with me still have yet to find one morel I bought two pounds yesterday. Pretty good eating last night. Expensive eating. Well worth it. Not sure what they call this mushroom here. It's growing all over this dead American elm. Oh, there's a chipmunk. A couple chipmunks. I wanted to show you something pretty cool about coming out into a state park. This tree right here in front of me, this is a giant walnut tree. This is old growth. This thing's been here quite a while. I'm saying over 100 years. Mainly on private timbers anymore. These have all been logged out. That thing is huge. I'm not no logger, but I'm pretty sure that they log these out in 10 foot sections. I bet you this tree's got to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I bet there's at least six sections there. They could cut this tree for veneer. I think that's what they do with them. They make veneer out of them. And it's straight. That's the key to these trees. I gotta be straight. I, I can't really give you. There's just my hand. Right there. That's just, this thing is just huge. Just my guesstimate on this tree. Walnut's really hot in this area or around the country. Um, that tree right there probably bring maybe $30,000. Could be more. I think they ship a lot of that overseas. This is what old growth timber looks like. 
There's a big white oak right here in front of me. These are what your May apples look like. Usually when they're up, morels are not far behind. I haven't found the morel in such a long time, I forget what they even look like. Nice lake. I think they call that a burl. Bug damage. That's the largest one I've ever seen. That's on a walnut tree. Give you a wider shot of it there. It's got to be guessing, I don't know, six feet tall by maybe 10 feet around. This is May 6th here in Illinois. I have found zero for mushrooms. There's an old dead elm there. A lot of people I've talked to, they haven't found anything either, or very few. I've actually bought three pounds this year. $150. $50 a pound. People think I'm nuts for buying them, but... At least I'll have something to eat. It's better than nothing at all, so. But anyway, I got my mushroom dog. We're headed out. Hopefully I can at least find one. A lot of the woods that we've hunted over the years had a lot of mature American elm trees. They've all died out, mainly it's just all small ones that are left. So I'm thinking that's probably what's going on the last three or four years, how anybody's found anything. But I know a lot of the property I've been hunting, a lot of the big elms have all died out through Dutch elm disease. That's what I think it is. But anyway, it's killed a lot of elms. Now you go back, there's, not, there's young elms, but no large ones, so... Got a lot of new ones coming in, small ones, probably another 30 or 40 years from now. Probably have another mushroom boom, but that's just my theory in this area. Because I know all the property I've been to, it's there's hardly any large elms left. And when they were there, that's when I found them. Found a lot of them, everybody else did too. But we've had a lot of tree kill through the area. Elm disease and ash borer and oak wilt you name it a lot of these forests are being depleted but uh kind of sad but anyway gotta think positive got my mushroom dog what do you think what do you think ginger and she's on to something there gotta get her on the trail Anyway, just a beautiful day out here for a Monday. See the foliage is not too high up. The yellow ones should be up. You can really spot them. There's like nobody out here in this woods. Usually 
when you find morels, they're everywhere. You could sell hot dogs out here, but last few years, there's no one. Pretty quiet. Even my dog's confused. Which way, buddy? Turkey's going over there. I used to find morels underneath this tree here. It's been dead for a long time. See, it fell over even. I look down, there's actually a mushroom here. This thing is dried up. It's my first mushroom of the year right here. That thing is petrified. Wow. Look at that. That old boy there. I'll still eat that thing. That old boy is. That's right there. That morel right there. That's the end of season. This is May 6th. Usually, our season goes through the 15th at least, but not good. Get on the scent. Get it. Here. There's another big American elm down. It's probably been dead for over 10 years, maybe. I don't know. Getting ready to walk out of here. This happened. Something just caught my eye. Look how well these things are hidden. This is crazy you can find these things. A miracle, I even seen that. Well, that's my second one of the year. Hallelujah. That's pretty small there. I almost need to take a moment of silence here. It's just crazy. These things are like impossible to find. And there it is. Hold the phone. I found another one. Yes, sir. I found another one of them. You can barely even see these. If you take your eye off, you lose it. Turkey there in the background. Them things are hidden. Underneath a hickory tree. But you really gotta look for these guys. Number three. Make sure I get all the dirt off of them. I put them in a plastic bag, keep them moist. A lot of people probably get mad at me for doing that. Should have a mesh bag, but. I just don't believe that you're going to spread spores and they're going to grow. Just my two cents on it. Or you break part of them off and leave it there and next year they're going to grow. I've never seen that happen. With morels, what I've seen, usually they're under the American Elm after they've been dead for a year or two. They'll start coming up. And a lot of times I've hit the same patch several times and they'll come up overnight. Because I'll be... I'll find some morels right here, and I'll come back in the morning at 6 o'clock, and there'll be more of them. So it seems like morels come up at the nighttime. Again, just my, my opinion from hunting morels for many years, that's what I've experienced. Number three is in the bag. 
Try not to get any dirt. Try to there. Keeps them moist. Plus it so they don't fall apart. That one's really fragile. Anyway, that's just how I do it. There's one right there. I just happen to look around. I think that's a morel. It's amazing I even spotted that. See, once you get to see the colors of them, what, how big they are and stuff, you can focus in on them. I just happen to look over and I've seen that. I can barely even see it on the camera here. I don't know if you can see that or not, that's pretty pretty hard to find. My dog's taking a break over there. Are you alive? Yeah, I think she's alive. I wore her out. I just lost sight of it. See, you take your eyes off them, you're not going to find them again. Oh, there it is. Wow. They're really small. Look at that, how small that is. Something's coming at me here. There. That's just a little guy there. I'll take it. At least I'm finding a couple of them. I've been everywhere. I have been everywhere after you, you son of a gun. It has been really tough. Once I get my eyes focused and see what I'm looking for, it's a little bit easier. I was looking for great big yellow ones. Yeah, it seems like I've hit on a patch of small ones here. Just gonna keep going over it. Right here underneath a hickory tree. It always got to be elm trees, but more, most of the time they are elm. Oh, there's one right here. This one's a little bit bigger. See, they're getting dark. Not a bad one there. A little bit older, not too bad. I'll take anything at this point. Kind of sit, take a look. Old Morelli. These things are freaking hard to find. Oh, there's another one right here. Look how hard these things are to spot. It's underneath a leaf, hidden down in there. <laughs> that is nuts. You don't think them things are hard to find? Look at that. Yes, sirree. Old Morelli. Has been captured, I'd say maybe a day, two days. It's just fun finding them. It's wore me out looking for them this year. I'll tell you, it's been bad. Get you onto the scent. Here you go. Get onto it. Got it? I just found a dark one that was broke off. That's one there's been up for a couple days. Gotta go get my dog up from her nap. Get her on the trail. My dog's on point. See that? 
dog definitely has got something going on right there. There it is. Good job. That's probably one of the nicest ones I've found out here. That is a nice morel. Yep, right underneath the May apples. Really nice morel there. Gonna go ahead and get it. So this is the nicest one I've gotten today. Oh yeah. That's a nice morel there. Really cool brush. I'd like to get about 20 or 30 of them. That'd be nice. Good job there, girl. Good job. You got her. Heck yeah, you did. There's another guy there. Underneath that may apple. Yep, that's a nice one there. They're all nice in my book. Finally getting into a few of them. Yes, sir. Got another one of them. These are pretty fresh here. Yeah, them are pretty easy to see there. Them little ones are really hard. A lot of times I don't like smashing the May apples over because people will come through and see you, someone's been in there. You're giving your patches away. I said this is public ground, so anybody can come in here. It's got to kind of think smart sometimes. Also, when I come out of the woods, I make sure I hide my bag. You don't want to broadcast where you're finding morale. Sometimes I drive up around the road and see people walking out or cars park. Usually know where the patches are at. Just came over here and there's one laying on the trail that looks like it broke off. Yeah, it broke off, fell over. And I looked up, there's another one and another one. There's another one over there. So Hector definitely up. So three in a row. That's a nice one there, even. There and there. I'm even going to take the freaking stem. I'll eat that. Another one there. Look at that right there. There's another one. They're getting where they're just you know, kind of falling over. These things are almost been impossible to find in the last three years. Then it kind of set in the moment here. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Another one. This guy's starting to get a little old. Heck yeah, here's a patch right here. Can't look around. Yes, sir. Got another nice one. Starting to get a little old there. May have been up for a day. Yep, that's a nice morel there. Look at that. Right there in that one little area. I've walked for days looking for them this year. Haven't found any, but here I'm starting to find a few. May 6th. I'll get my dog and get back over here. The turkeys are screaming behind me. Oh. What do you think? 
That's something. Got a few of them. Starting to get a little weight. That's what's fun when you find a few of them in an area, say just one every, you know, two miles. Yep, here's another one right here. Starting to get a little old. Well, them are nice looking there. Yeah, that's a nice one. Real nice mushroom there. Underneath a hickory tree. Yes, sir. Another nice one. This one's really fresh. I'm getting confused. Some of these are look like early mushrooms and some of them look like later mushrooms so getting a few of them in the bag well there it is got a nice mess of mushrooms there so happy it's been a long long time to find these i've been out i think probably around six times a lot of time a lot of gas money but Old Mr. Morelli has been found. Some of these are getting a little old, but otherwise they're a nice mess of mushrooms. Heck yeah, that's what it's all about right there. Getting out, seeing nature, getting some exercise, and getting some treasure right there. That does it for me. Thanks for coming along with me and my dog Ginger. Coming back out here to do a final sweep. It's May 10th. It got a lot of rain. It's rained for like two or three days since I hunted here last. I'm just going to come back in here and check that last patch I found some at. So this is it. Black squirrel. Look at that black squirrel. Well, I went back through for a final sweep. Never even found a one. Not a single one. So I think the season's about done here. May 10th, Illinois, northern Illinois. I know they're finding a lot of them up uh, north of us, Wisconsin, starting to find them, the dark ones. So their season's just starting. kind of moves a couple weeks each zone, kind of. Down south, you know, was probably done a couple weeks ago. Anyway, here's a big old elm tree here, American elm. It died out. Still got a little bit of bark on it years back. I shot a video here it's called morel mother load i think that's what i put in the title if you want to check that out pretty excited i found all of them probably maybe five inch tall four or five inch tall mushrooms there was probably two or three pounds in here but i went back a couple times over the years and found a couple here or there but then it's haven't found anything so it's kind of finished here but just the good old elm tree there gave me a few good meals this tree right here american elm it's just prime for producing morels you can see half of it's dead 
other half is still going. Still got the bark on it. But this tree here would just be prime for morels. And I don't see anything. Maybe next year it might put a few out. But I just want to show you this tree here. I'm guessing this tree would be probably, I don't know, 250 years old maybe. Who knows, but it's big. This is a really cool climbing tree there. Look at the stuff growing on it. Good old tree there, buddy. That old tree's seen a lot of stuff. Or was alive when a lot of stuff was going on, let's put it that way. Probably didn't see a whole lot, but hiding back here. But it was alive when a lot of things in this world were going on. Civil War, probably. Here's a big mushroom here. Looks like it just came out. Don't have a clue what it is. That is a big piece of mushroom. Here's another one. Got my hand in some itch weed. Look at that thing. Like I said, I don't eat anything else. I'm 100% sure. This might be something really good. Could be something bad. It's coming out of a hickory. Old hickory tree that fell down. <laughs> it's like a call it a symbol mushroom. It's like a symbol. Yeah, I could take and destroy that. But somebody might know what that is. It might be edible or something. I'll just leave it. Again, don't know nothing about. I always stick to morels. Just a cool mushroom there. Another piece coming out. That's got like a... See that? Trying to film this for you in a patch of itch wheat or nettles. Old nettles right there. There's always plenty of trash laying around no matter where you go. There's always something. There's a plastic cup. Someone threw in there or blew in there, who knows, from the road. Get that out of there. Can't get away from it. Like I said, you're never going to get away from stuff. It's always that. It's everywhere. But it's just nice every time you pick up a little bit, there's less that's going to be there. So it's got to do a little bit to give back. That's the way I look at it. Give back a little bit. Don't just keep taking. Give back. People probably drive by and wonder how many morels I got, and I walk out with a handful of trash. 
That's why I said that ain't, that ain't too good. I'm going to show you here real quick how I, I preserve my morels. Instead of eating them all at once, I try to hold back a few for the winter. But I just uh, put them on a cookie sheet, let them freeze, and then got vacuum sealed. So I'm going to see how these turn out. I don't think I've ever done this before like this. But I think it'll work. Put them in about enough for a little meal of them. Dated them. Heck yeah, so I got a few for the winter.